everybody. Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy D. Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. First of all, make sure you give us a like, subscribe to us, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned when we drop all that new content. We're releasing music, we're releasing Power Rangers videos, pop culture, you name it. We're talking about it, baby. And we've been talking a lot of Power Rangers lately because there are a lot of great nuggets and things that we keep getting. Today we're going to be talking about, there's some news about Power Rangers Dino Fury. It is confirmed that we are going to be getting 44 episodes, okay? Just like uh, the last few seasons, ever since I think Samurai came out, I think 44 has been like the regular number what they're probably going to do is give us two um 220 what is it 220 episode seasons and then the extra four episodes will be flashbacks to holiday episodes stuff like that that aren't necessarily canon but kind of are um but hey i love what hasbro's doing as you guys know, the Illuminati a few months ago talked about, broke some news of rumors that the Super Sentai and Power Rangers are going to end their connection with Toei, so we're not going to be using Super T Sentai footage anymore, which kind of makes me sad, but also gives me hope that we can try something different. I mean, you can't beat a dead horse forever. A great example, Beast Morphers is probably one of the best seasons of Power Rangers ever. But it's on the decline, numbers-wise. I mean, they have the 8 o'clock um, time slot on Saturdays, which is god-awful. And now, a lot of old people like me remember when Power Rangers used to be on at 7 in the morning. You know, it's 7 here, Midwest, and it's 8 a.m. other places, but... I'd wake up and watch Power Rangers Zeo. I'd watch Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. I'd wake up at 7 and watch it. But that was when it was a top hit show, and people aren't waking up to see it like that. I've been saying for years that Nickelodeon doesn't care about Power Rangers no more. They cared when they first got it for Super Samurai, and they cared a little for Megaforce, and now they, they just don't care. They're... They play it at 7 in the morning here in the Midwest and 8 o'clock, you know, on the East Coast. And it barely gets any promo. You don't ever see any primetime specials. Crap, we don't even see it in, like, an afternoon anytime. It's, uh, it's pretty sad because Power Rangers, yeah, it has its ups and downs. We got to show more respect for that brand, baby. Um, but you guys know Nickelodeon, it, they only really care about SpongeBob, um, a few other shows, maybe The Loud House, but uh, it's called The SpongeBob Effect. Uh, they, they can't really get anything else to go, and I've been saying for the past few months that I think have came up with the solution. So this 44, um, 44 episodes... I think we have one more year with Nickelodeon. So what you do is you do that 22 episodes on Nickelodeon. And then the second half, you switch and you go to Discovery Family. Everyone's like, come on, bro. Why would you go to that channel? That sounds stupid. Well, actually, Hasbro owns 50% of that channel, okay? They have transformers on there my little pony what are they missing they're missing their other brand power rangers and with this they will be able to control its prized possession and do what they want and turn it into a top dog on the network they can put extra commercials and extra shorts and all different kinds of things that Nickelodeon refused to do because they wanted to make sure that the Loud House and SpongeBob and all their new shows are popping. They don't give no love to the Power Rangers. If you want your show to do good, yes, Nickelodeon might be on more uh, cable networks and more things, but Discovery Family is literally on YouTube TV. It's on... Um, it's on Hulu Live. It's on a lot of different things, guys. Discovery Family is moving. And Hasbro owns half of it, like I said. It just makes the most sense. 
And that way you can control your brand and you can actually do what you want and give, if you wanted to play Power Rangers five times a day, you could. You could have a Power Rangers marathon twice a month. You know, you could do some fun stuff to push the brand and elevate it. Nickelodeon, it might be on a bigger network, but you're not getting the right time slot. That's kind of the thing. I mean, dude, you could go to the five-star restaurant, but if you only got money for the breadsticks, you ain't gonna really enjoy yourselves. And that's where we are with Power Rangers, man. We're, we're at the five-star restaurant, but we're not getting what we want, okay? So, and what is Discovery Family? Discovery Family is like a, a Ruby Tuesdays. It's a TGI Fridays. It's an Applebee's. Not the best. Good. Okay. But you can order everything off the menu. You can do whatever you want to do at this place because you own half of it. You know, so it's, it makes the most sense to get this going. Discovery Family, I think, would be the best um, idea that we could do. Um, and if you guys have any other ones, you know, streaming services, stuff like that, go ahead and tell me. I th I'm always down for a good idea. And if it's better than mine, maybe I'll make a video about it and shout you out. I love Power Rangers, as you guys know, man. I've... I'm devoted to this franchise, and especially you guys, you fans. We talk Power Rangers multiple times a week. We love you guys. Let me know about this. What do you think about the 44 episodes? Do you think we're going to stay with Toei? Do you think we're going to continue to have Power Rangers as we know it? Or, or are we going to get an animated show? Obviously, they changed from AllSpark Studios to Entertainment One, which makes... Peppa Pig and PJ Masks. So we could get a cartoon show too, which I would love to have a preschool show for kids and get to like my kids watching, you know, as they grow a different type of Power Rangers. I mean, that's the way it is, man. Teen Titans Go, Transformers Rescue Bots. You got to make it more friendly and cool for the kids today. And I'm cool with it. You can't beat a dead horse forever. And that's, I, I know I said that before, but Power Rangers isn't necessarily dying, but we got to change things. We have to change. We have to go in a different direction because Beast Morphers was great, but ain't no one watched that show. I watched it. All of us Power Ranger fans watched it. But how many little kids are waking up at seven in the morning to watch this show? That's my point. Let me know what you guys think about it. We love you. I want to take the time to thank everyone for popping in here whenever we watch it or whenever we drop a video. Thank you guys for showing love. We love you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned when we drop new videos. We love you guys. Thanks for watching the fan club. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys. Peace.